And this is actually the original site of the town's first wells. Uh, there's two buildings located here on the property that were dug when the water system was first started in the, uh, the late 1800s. And uh, this was the first tank, or I'm uh, sorry, this is actually the second tank uh, that was located on the property. There was an original tank over by where the, uh, the school booster pump station is right now uh, that was established when these wells were developed. And that was the original storage for the downtown area was the only area that was serviced uh, by town water. Uh, back then, that's where everything was centralized and, and there wasn't enough uh, uh, people on the outskirts of town at that time to, uh, to extend the water, which they eventually did. Uh, so this tank here was built in, in 1922, a uh, steel riveted water tank. This one holds uh, about 320,000 gallons. And for the most part, it's in pretty decent shape. Um, you know, we're looking to uh, take this one down. The maintenance uh, work that needs to be done on it at this time is just uh, being looked at in terms of what the, the best effective uh, cost is for the town. And really we, what we need is to add a, a new tank here that has additional storage. Uh, this one is not quite sufficient anymore with the growth that we've had in town. Uh, we have the, the other tank over here that was built in uh, 1966. That one holds 1 1.5 million gallons. And um, we're doing evaluations on that one as well, uh, seeing what we need to do in terms of uh, cleaning it and any spot repairs that uh, need to be done to that. Uh, one interesting, no interesting note on this, the smaller tank was uh, it uh, originally didn't have a cover on it. Now, back in the old days, uh, they didn't have the DEP <laughs> that was uh, enforcing all the rules and regulations. So this one, there's local rumors of uh, some of the neighborhood kids actually swimming in this <laughs> before the top was on it. And I guess they hoped they, if they heard the fire horn downtown that they quickly got out <laughs> in case the, uh, the hydrants were opened. Uh, but eventually in the, uh, I think it was the early 60s, uh, that the top was finally uh, put on this one. So I understand that uh, some things are going to be happening uh, with these tanks coming up. Can you explain what's going to be happening with them? Sure. Uh, right now we've had the money appropriated and we're having our engineer, Weston and Sampson, uh, do some modeling and testing on it and to see uh, what the, the best procedure for us to go forward with is. And right now the indication is that, uh, to, like I earlier indicated, to take the smaller tank down, uh, use a same height tank. Um, we have another tank location over on West Main Street and actually our base elevation where we're standing right here is actually 10 feet higher than the elevation on West Main Street. If you, when you're driving towards West Main, it's kind of an optical illusion. Uh, when you're going up Bear Hill, you would think that that one is the, uh, the higher of the two, but that's actually 10 feet uh, lower elevation. So the, the tank itself is a 10 foot higher tank than these. These are 60 feet and that one's 70 feet. So that keeps the hydraulic gradient of the, uh, the town in line. Uh, so with the modeling being done, uh, we're going to get a recommendation from uh, Weston and Sampson on what we should end up doing with uh, the older tank here. Okay, and uh, do you have any ideas uh, what they're going to say that you should do with it? Um, any thoughts about what they'll probably recommend? Uh, right now, the uh, preliminary design is going to be for probably just replacing this with a, a wider tank that gives us more storage, more volume, and that will help us uh, in our maintenance work. Right now we're not really able to take this tank down and offline uh, due to the uh, issues it would cause with pressure and then also uh, you know, fire support and keeping up with demand. So having a, a bigger tank uh, right next to it will give us some leeway when we can take one tank offline and be able to do the required uh, maintenance on them. So that's what they're looking at right now. Like I said they're still early in the study so something else might come out of it but that seems to be um, the way that they're going to be following right now. And I understand it's been a very busy summer for the DPW and water and sewer with a lot of construction going on? It has, it has. Yeah, there's construction just uh, all over town and we've been uh, busy trying to keep up with the demands of uh, you know, doing inspections for the water mains, uh, getting them filled and then all the other associated work that goes along with the construction, um, along with now that we're into the uh, uh, high use season, that, that keeps us busy as well with just our general maintenance work and upkeep of the wells. All right, so how are the water levels right now? Are they doing okay? Right now, we're, we're doing okay. Uh, we've had just enough rain uh, that's kept us at an okay level. We're starting to see the groundwater levels drop. You know, we had, uh, I think last week or a week and a half ago, we had uh, one little over an inch storm that helped uh, a little bit, but now it's been fairly dry again. So you know, we still ask people to always make sure they're helping to conserve. Uh, we try to get the word out there that your lawns really only need one inch of water a week to uh, stay green. <laughs> And you know, if everyone adheres to the watering rules and regulations, which are imposed on us by the DEP, uh, you know, then that will help us make it through the summer without any, uh, hopefully, any significant uh, issues in terms of uh, supply.
And of course, there's the water barrels or the rain barrels that uh, you mentioned uh, in a new segment a few months ago. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you for that plug. We uh, partnered with Western Nurseries, and um, you know, quite a few people did take advantage of that program. And I know uh, a lot of people are using them, and that helps you know be able to do your watering of the flowers and other things that are close to the house, and uh, helps you know save the town's uh, resources for you know the other daily pertinent needs as well. All right. Well, thanks a lot for the update. All right. Thank you, Tom.